for for myself. Uh, okay, uh, after that, give uh, a narrow list, short list of uh, differential diagnosis and uh, what to do uh, as a next step. It's very important to uh, show the examiner that you are uh, good guidance to uh, other clinicians and to the patients. Uh, uh, for example, this is a case of a mediastinal uh, lesion, which is a very common exam uh, case. Uh, starting by, uh, I'm presented with uh, a frontal chest radiograph of skeletally mature individual, or just an adult uh, person. If you have uh, breast shadow, an adult female uh, uh, showing a large lobulated right mediastinal uh, lesion. A very well defined lateral border. What about the medial border? Merge it with the mediastinum, or you, or you can say white. Uh, the lesion has a white base uh, to uh, the mediastinum, so it is mediastinal, not pulmonary, not uh, plural. Uh, a second point to localize which in which uh, compartment. Uh, for example, uh, no splaying of uh, ribs. Oh, it's unlikely to be posterior mediastinal. I can see the hilar vessels uh, through and mention the sign. It's a hilar uh, overlay uh, sign. It's unlikely from the hilar, not medial mediastinal. Uh, then it's merged with the right cardiac border. So it's, and since the heart is an anterior structure, so it's most likely anterior mediastinal structure, which carries some differential diagnosis. Uh, in order to narrow this uh, list, you have to continue description. No interregional calcifications or no differential dynasties within this uh, lesion. So it has uh, the same uh, meaning. Okay. Uh, then, uh, no, no, no. Uh, no other uh, lesions, uh, unremarkable uh, bones, uh, normal breast shadows if present, if uh, female, and so on. Uh, to summarize, you have to summarize every case, please. Some examiners will remain silent until you finalize. If you didn't finalize the case, you may be silent and you will lose uh, your time. Uh, you need to finish uh, these cases in a shorter time. So the examiner will provide you with the CT scan, eight marks for X-ray, eight marks for a CT scan, inshallah, in maybe less than four minutes, four minutes. Uh, okay, uh, finding to summarize, uh, this case is most likely or findings, constellation of findings uh, are most suggestive of anterior mediastinal uh, mass. My differential diagnosis, you know, T, T, T. Uh, what uh, the first, uh, thyroid? No, don't mention thyroid, uh, please. Uh, because thyroid uh, is not probable diagnosis in this case. It's uh, not continuous with uh, NIC. You have to mention the other differential uh, diagnoses like lymphoma, uh, thymoma, and uh, teratoma uh, in younger age ago. Uh, then complete your description. In my routine practice, I will compare with any previous uh, imaging uh, or studies if uh, available. I'll convey the finding to the referring uh, physician and uh, I'll advise or arrange uh, for a contrast enhanced uh, CT scan of the chest for more clarification of this uh, lesion. Uh, just a short note about uh, the possible signs of uh, anterior uh, mediastinal uh, mass. Anterior uh, mediastinal uh, mass uh, may Okay, uh, back again. <clears throat> uh, anterior mediastinal mass have uh, a certain uh, signs. Continuity with anterior mediastinal structure, like uh, the heart. Or I can see this uh, mass and posterior mediastinal structures can be seen through. So it is not posterior mediastinal, it's anterior mediastinal or it has some certain location, like uh, adjacent to the uh, cardiophrenic angle, it's definitely anterior mediastinal with a short list of differential diagnosis, or continuous with the neck, uh, deviation of the trachea, definitely it's anterior mediastinal. And the last and most important sign, uh, it's upper border fading out above the clavicles. 
positive cervical thoracic sign. Examiners like to hear these uh, radiographic uh, signs. Uh, now your uh, differential diagnosis, uh, T, 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 T. If uh, the lesion is uh, higher in the neck continuous with the uh, neck uh, shifting the trachea, it may be of thyroid uh, origin. Like this mass, oh, this mass is continuous with the neck containing fossil calcification, it may be uh, an extension from uh, goiter. If you see at the same, okay, if you see at the same time, uh, dense nodules, it may be papillary thyroid carcinoma, which is a common source for miliary uh, metastasis. Okay, uh, if you see floating vessels inside uh, this uh, mass, it may be a lymphoma. Uh, if you see heterogeneity, it may be a thymoma, a thymic uh, tumor. Remember to comment on the pleura because it may send the pleural uh, metastasis. In the younger age group with uh, cystic changes, calcification, low density or uh, fat, it may be teratoma. These are the common uh, for differential, but remember other causes like precardial cyst downwards, fatty uh, lesions, uh, thymolipoma or mediastinal lipomatosis, and also vascular lesions. Just uh, this is a brief example how to proceed uh, through uh, this case. Now we will start our uh, lecture. I think now uh, it's time because I give uh, extra minutes for our friends, all friends to attend. Okay, let's start with the first uh, round. Okay, uh, this is the first group of uh, candidates, uh, Dr. Yasmin, Dr. Maria, Dr. Aisha. Uh, these five candidates, are you there? Anyone? Anyone of them? This is the first group. I am here. I am Aula. Okay, Dr. Aula is here. I'm candidate two. Candidate two, okay. Huh? As I am hand? also here, Aisha. Okay. Yeah, I'm candidate four. Okay. Dr. Asmin is not present. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start from uh, Dr. Maria. First one. Yes, sir. I'm here. Dr. Asmin or Dr. Maria? Dr. Maria. Okay, okay. Uh, every candidate, inshallah, uh, two uh, cases. Uh, the first case, uh, I will not uh, mention this, uh, just uh, I, uh, I described it. If you want to describe it, and I will give you extra case, how to deal with such case. Okay, so this is XHS frontal projection of a skeletally mature patient. I, I can appreciate that there is widening, significant widening of the mediastinum. Uh, the major bulk of the widened mediastinum is lying on the right side, uh, where it is showing uh, lobulated larger margins. Uh, I can appreciate that the hilar vessels are visible through this widening, giving a positive hilar overlay sign. It is also still hurting the cardiac border, which is distinctly not visualized. I can appreciate no evidence of any calcification noted within this uh, uh, within this top tissue density region. There are no air fluid levels as well. Uh, it is projecting into the projecting uh, over the right lung, uh, which appears otherwise unremarkable. I cannot find any significant abnormality in the left lung as well. And the visualized region bones are showing mild osteopenic changes. Uh, there are few ECG that, uh, leads as well. Uh, so on uh, the basis of this finding, I am suspecting this. Yeah, well, so Sorry? you mentioned uh, no air fluid uh, level. Why? Yes. Uh, uh, there is a possibility of some abscess formation as well in the mediastinal region. That's why I'm suspecting uh, there could be uh, there is a possibility of air fluid level as well. Okay. That is a very that is very uh, least likely differential. So I'm suspecting this could be a case of anterior mediastinal uh, pathology for which my differential would include some thyroid. It could be some thymus related pathology, or it could be some lymphoma, or less likely teratoma. I would like to convey my finding to the referring physician, and I would like to take this case further by recommending contrast enhanced CTHS. Same patient. Okay, so this is the contrast enhanced CTHS. Uh, uh, contrast enhanced CTHS of the same patient. Hey, I can appreciate. I said, can I ask for remote control? Okay, ask for. A request control. Yes, I have requested. You have it. Okay. Uh, so this is the contrast in her CTHS, again, view of the same patient. Uh, here I can appreciate that there is a fairly well-defined 
uh, lobulated mildly enhancing soft tissue density lesion, which is occupying the interior metastinum. Uh, this lesion is abutting the major vessels of the metastinum, uh, but I cannot appreciate any significant uh, uh, erosion, uh, invasion or encasement of the vessel. I can appreciate no calcification or any cystic lesion within this uh, uh, within this lesion, and it is projecting into the upper lobe of the right lung, and uh, also. Um, just a minute, just yes, allow recording, allow recording. Okay. You okay. are the boss now. Okay. Okay. It is also abutting the, uh, the sternum without any definite bony erosion. I can appreciate that there is mild pleural effusion uh, bilaterally. I cannot appreciate any significant abnormal pleural thickening or the pleural nodularity as well. I would like to see the lung window as well to comment on any possibility of underlying lung metastasis. Uh, so on the basis of these findings, my differential would include some uh, neoplastic etiology, likely lymphoma. I would like to see the other uh, uh, images of the CT abdomen and pelvis to look to comment on any further lymphedemopathy as well, and would uh, see the uh, bone window as well to comment on the bone metastasis. Uh, I would like to go for a, uh, I would recommend biopsy of this lesion and would like to refer the patient to oncology and DTP for further work up at the management. Okay, good, yeah, boss. Okay, uh, uh, just uh, back to uh, x rays. Everything you said uh, is uh, correct. I have uh, some comment on the air fluid uh, level. Uh, air fluid level uh, can be seen with a mediastinal uh, lesion, yes. Uh, and it can be seen in the base of the neck, the air fluid level in the base of the neck. Uh, do you have an, any idea about uh, the nature of this lesion? Lesion mediastinal with air fluid level at the base of the neck? Uh, it could be dilated esophagus or echolesia. Achalasia, achalasia, dilated esophagus, anterior or posterior mediastinal differential. Uh, anterior mediastinal masses could be it could be some thymic related pathology like thymoma or it could be uh, uh, no no I, I, I mean achalasia, achalasia, anterior or posterior. It is posterior mediastinal. Okay, uh, this is the point I want to stress on reliable differential diagnosis. Every okay. uh, word, every uh, point you will say, uh, it will not pass easily. Uh, air flow okay. level, okay, it's uncommon in anterior medicine. It's uh, related to posterior medicine, achalasia. Otherwise, mashallah, excellent, excellent uh, presentation. Okay, uh, next case, proceed. Okay, this is the XHS content projection of a skeletally mature patient. Uh, hey, I can appreciate that there is a fairly well-defined lobulated opacity, uh, which I am thinking it is located on the left side, uh, in I think the left side, and it is projecting into the upper lobe of left lung. Uh, this, uh, this opacity is uh, uh, is not still hurting the outline of the aortic knuckle, and I can also appreciate the cardiac vessels are well, uh, sorry, uh, hilar vessels are well visualized from this opacity. And I cannot appreciate any calcification within this uh, capacity as well. The, coming towards the lung field, I can appreciate that these lung fields are unremarkable. There is no evidence of any pleural effusion, and the visualized bones are unremarkable as well. Uh, so, on the on the basis of location of this opacity, I am suspecting this could be an anterior mediastinal lesion, for which my differential would include some thymic related pathology. It could be some lympho uh, uh, neoplastic disorder like lymphoma, or it could be um, a thyroid related pathology, uh, or it could be a teratoma as well. Next, I would like to convey my findings to the uh, reference physician and would like to take my case further with the uh, uh, with recommending contrast enhanced CT test. Excellent. Yeah, was the last case. Then I will give a, a comment on the three. The last case, uh, 50 years old uh, patient uh, complaining of this near. Okay, so this is the XHS uh, frontal projection of a skeletally mature patient. Here I can appreciate that it is a fairly well defined opacity, uh, I think, in bright paratracheal vision. This opacity has a well defined lateral margin, but its medial margins are indistinct. I cannot appreciate any calcification within it, and I cannot uh, uh, see any significant compressive effect over the trachea as well. Uh, this opacity is well away from the left hi uh, right hilar vessel, and um, uh, it is also away from the cardiac, uh, cardiac border so, as well. So this lesion is present on the right side only, correct? Uh, no, there is widening of the mediastinum, and I can also appreciate that there is a widened uh, uh, opacity is also noted on the left side as well. Uh, so there is uh, some mediastinal lesion. 
and uh, which is actually not still hurting the uh, outline of the descending thoracic aorta. Uh, so again, I'm suspecting this could be anterior mediastinal pathology. Okay, okay. So the same differential diagnosis. Uh, I'll yes, give uh, an excellent, excellent presentation, Yapos. Uh, the first uh, lesion, uh, the sign, which is more important to represent anterior mediastinal mass is the continuity with the right cardiac border. Okay. As we mentioned, as our friend uh, mentioned, continuous with cardiac border, silhouetting uh, the cardiac uh, border, it means anterior. Hilum overlay sign, I can see the uh, hilar vessels uh, through. No splaying of uh, ribs, uh, no continuity with the neck. So don't mention thyroid enlargement uh, or thyroid deleted masses as part of uh, the differential. Uh, the next uh, case, okay, widening of superior mediastinum or left-sided mediastinal uh, lesion broad based to the mediastinum will define the lateral border, medial border merged with the mediastinum. I can see the aortic uh, knuckle and, and descending aorta through this lesion, which exclude the posterior mediastinal uh, possibility. Okay, it carries the same differential uh, diagnosis. Now the last uh, one here, superior mediastinal uh, okay. widening on both sides, on both uh, sides more bulky to the right uh, side. Uh, on the left side, this sign is suggestive of anterior mediastinal rather than on the right side. Because on the right side, no structures to compare with. But on the left side, two signs here. The first one, I can see the aortic knuckle and descending aorta through this lesion. The lateral margin of this uh, lesion is lateral to the aortic knuckle. And the second sign, uh, the superior margin of this uh, lesion is fading out above the clavicle, which is named, uh, what is the name of this sign? Cervical thoracic sign. Yes, cervical thoracic sign. It's very important uh, sign in the clinical uh, exam. So these are a collection of uh, signs you may see in uh, the uh, exam. If you want to can, if you want to finalize, this is the last case. Same patient, okay, last so case. Okay, so this is the uh, CT chest, uh, it's contrast in one CT chest, XDM view of the same patient. I'm trying to scroll the images here. You know, so I can appreciate that there is a, uh, there is a soft tissue density lesion, uh, which is kind of inflammatory in between the Yes, it is soft tissue density and myelin hunting lesion, and uh, which is located, primarily located in the anterior mediastinum. And it is partially encasing the mediastinum vessel without significant luminal nerving or um, invasion. So my differential for this include it could be a lymphoma or it could be some um, uh, non-invasive thymoma. And uh, yes, I can appreciate that no evidence of abnormal pleural thickening or nodularity to suggest the pleural metastasis. Very good. And, uh, and uh, with no evidence of any pleural effusion as well. So these two my, are my distension. Uh, it is less likely teratoma since I cannot appreciate any fat component or any calcification within it. So Good. I would uh, like to recommend uh, further. I would like to take this further by recommending biopsy. And, and uh, would before, require, uh, before, uh, before uh, recommending biopsy, uh, is there is any rule for lung wind? Like, uh, In my routine practice, I, yes, would, I would say lung wind looking. I would good. also like. Yes, I would also like to see the lung window to rule out any metastasis in the lung. And bone window as well to rule out any bone metastasis as well. Okay, okay. Uh, excellent, Yavos. Excellent, Yavos. Very good. Uh, can I take the control back? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Returning it, sir. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Uh, second candidate, Dr. Aisha. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, in the same category, this patient uh, presenting with uh, this near. Proceed. Okay, so I'm provided with X-ray chest frontal projection of skeletally mature patient. Um, I can see that uh, there is a mediastinal mass um, which is uh, lying uh, above the, uh, uh, which is extending above uh, the clavicles, and it is uh, it appears to be continuous with the uh, uh, soft tissue density within the neck. So it is uh, the superior mediastinal mass, which is extending within the anterior mediastinum, uh, as it is uh, continuous uh, with the um, uh, soft tissue density below it. Um, I can um, see that um, there is slight compression um, at the level of uh, the trachea. There is mild compression at the level of the trachea. Rest of the lung field, yeah. 
uh, rest of the lung fields um, appears unremarkable. Um, I cannot see any uh, bony abnormality within this uh, uh, image. And uh, for, I would like to give the differentials on the basis of the appearance of this mass. So um, my first differential would be some uh, neck mass, likely goiter, which is extending um, in the anterior mediastinum and it is compressing the trachea. Um, other less likely possibility is of um, um, uh, lymphoma, but it is usually not extend within the neck. So my top differential would be goiter. I would like to correlate it uh, with the ultrasound uh, of the neck. And um, further, I would like to... Uh, and, uh, ultrasound. What if I told you the patient uh, has acute presentation, feeling of okay. swelling since two days? What could be the differential? Uh, it could be any collection uh, within the neck, uh, uh, which is extending uh, in the superior mediastinum, or any uh, large vessel, um, uh, uh, large vessel rupture or uh, uh, ultrasound, hematoma. Ultrasound showed uh, cystic lesion inside the thyroid. Cystic lesion within the thyroid. Mm -hmm. Differential. Hemorrhagic okay. Hemorrhagic colloid cyst. It can be okay. acutely. It can be the same appearance, okay. but it can present uh, acutely. Uh, okay, uh, same patient, fixed image. Can you comment? Okay, so I'm uh, provided with a CT coronal, um, CT chest coronal images. I can see that uh, bilateral uh, thyroid lobes uh, appears enlarged and they are extending within the um, uh, upper um, uh, upper part of the chest or anterior mediastinum. I can see some uh, hypodense nodule within the left lobe of the thyroid. Uh, so I am suspecting it to be some uh, goiter, a thyroid goiter, which is... Um, uh, giving this appearance or as you said some um, uh, colloid cyst hemorrhagic colloid cyst but I cannot see any uh, high density within the cyst um, mm -hmm. within this hypodense lien so most probably it is thyroid nodule and uh, there is um, a diffuse enlargement of the thyroid with, retros with retrosternal extension very good very good uh, another uh, case okay uh, I am provided with X-ray chest, frontal projection. Uh, just a uh, minute, just a minute. The mass is anterior, my uh, friend, Dr. Leili, the mass, mass in, is anterior. Till now, till now, no posterior mediastinal masses. All anterior. Okay, proceed, your boss. Okay, so I'm provided with X-ray chest, frontal projection of a skeletally mature patient. Um, I can see that there is some opacity noted uh, within the uh, uh, right uh, lower, uh, projecting over the right lower lung zone. It is having well-defined lateral margins. However, medial margins are merging with the mediastinum. Uh, I cannot uh, see, I can see that uh, hyalur vessels are passing through it. So this uh, shows the hilum overlay sign. However, I cannot see the uh, cardiac uh, border here. So it is silhouetting the cardiac border. Uh, so this mass is likely within the anterior mediastinum. Uh, keeping in view the uh, uh, location of right cardiophrenic angle, I would like to give the differentials of um, some uh, pericardial fat pad, some pericardial cyst, and other possibilities of morgagni hernia, but it is less likely as I cannot see any uh, lucency or any air uh, within this uh, opacity. Accepted definition uh, that most may be part of the liver with color sign. Accepted. Good. Uh, and the other differential may be uh, lung sequestration as well. Uh, okay. CT scan of the same patient. You want to scroll or I will for you? Uh, you you can scroll for me. Okay, if... very good. Okay. Okay, so, so I'm provided with CT scan, um, just axial images, um, uh, mediastinal or soft tissue window, in which I can see that uh, there is a well-defined oval-shaped um, hypodense uh, lesion, uh, which is abutting the um, cardiac border. Uh, it is uh, it appears to be of low density, but in my routine practice, I would like to take the HU of uh, this lesion. Uh, however, on these images, it appears to be uh, uh, some uh, fluid density uh, lesion. So I'm uh, I so, will uh, uh, give... how to confirm its nature, whether uh, soft tissue uh, or fluid. Uh, I can uh, compare it it with adjacent uh, muscles um, and um, mediastinal soft uh, other soft tissue. Uh, uh, so is, I uh, think uh, okay subjective method. Any quantitative method. Uh, sorry? Any quantitative method to know if this is a fluid or a solid? 
quantitative method of uh, uh, quantitative is sir h u we have to measure i think yes yes measure how many speed units yeah. what i mean how many speed units what is the normal for fluid okay how speed units sir it, it is less than um uh, 20 okay what if uh, 30 30 is blood active 30 to 40 is uh, like active blood good good Okay, uh, boss, uh, I think uh, very good uh, presentation, very good differential diagnosis. It's a cardiophrenic angle, definitely anterior mediastinal uh, mass on top of the list, uh, pericardial uh, cyst, blue pericardial cyst like this uh, case. Uh, also, uh, fat bed, especially if sloping uh, end, morgagni hernia, anterior small uh, hernia may uh, involve part of uh, the liver calling the uh, polar sign, but best appreciated in uh, CT scan, uh, or uh, maybe just uh, round pneumonia in a younger age uh, group presenting with constitutional symptoms or pulmonary sequestration if it has uh, arterial uh, branch or uh, the water. Uh, so, to collect anterior mediastinal uh, lesions, uh, again, the signs of anterior mediastinal uh, lesions. Continuity with the cardiac border. I can see posterior mediastinal uh, structures uh, through. So this lesion is anterior. Uh, specific location like very uh, cardiophrenic angle. Specific location also continuity with the uh, next specific sign and most important sign, uh, positive cervical thoracic sign. Superior border fading out above uh, the cleft. Uh, continue the cases. Uh, next candidate, uh, yes, yes, okay, <clears throat> okay, proceed, boss. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm, pre I'm presented with frontal chest radiograph in a skeletally mature patient. So I'll quickly look through the chest and communicate my findings. So I can see that um, there is a very large or there is a large mass demonstrated in the, or projected in the left lower to mid to lower lung zone. Its lateral aspect, it's um, convex and well-defined. However, its medial aspect merges with the mediastinum. Yes. So um, it's suggestive of a mediastinal mass. So um, I can see some hyalur vessels uh, projecting in, in, on it. So suggesting that um, it's not in the middle mediastinum. However, I can also appreciate that, or I can appreciate that um, there is no ciliate of the left heart border. So this suggests a posterior mediastinal mass. I can also appreciate that um, there is ciliate of the outline of the descending thoracic aorta. Um, other findings I can see is a mild spleen of the ribs, um, that's posterior ribs, and the aforementioned region. So the rest of the lungs, uh, the, the, the remaining uh, demonstrated lungs are normal, the, the normal cardiac heart, um, uh, normal cardiac size and, and contour, no pneumothorax, no pneumomediastinum. So the affirmation mass shows no um, lucencies and no definite classification, but I will window to um, analyze the content of the superior aspect of the mass to rule out the classification. So um, I'm thinking of a posterior mediastinal mass here. Um, a number of things are going through my mind, like a large a neurogenic tumor, like a, a schwannoma, um, or a or, or a, a neurofibroma. It's also a differential, a lateral meningocele. So um, I will want to. So I'll, I'll... You want to scroll or I will? Okay, you can scroll. Okay. Okay. So um, um, this is a contrast and has CT of the, the same lesion, of the same patient, confirming that the mass is in the posterior mediastinum and there is a large round, there is a, a large oval lesion um, of yeah. which is hypodense. So it is uh, noted in the paravertebral um, region and uh, about the posterior thorax. So I'm trying to, um, 
I'm trying to know the association with the neural foramen, but it does not extend to the what? neural foramen. Okay, so I also do not see any um, classification solutions in it. So it's it's about the heart, but there is no, as well as the descending thoracic aorta, but there is no invasion of these structures. So um, this suggests a, a, a non-aggressive condition. So I'm thinking of, um, please, can you scroll superiorly? Okay, so I'm thinking, uh, I can also see some left-sided pleural effusion. So I'm thinking of um, a pleural fibroma. Uh, okay, uh, this is a young patient. Okay, young patient. Okay, so it can still be a... The same differential. It can still be, yeah, the um, schwannoma. Um, yes. of the notice, uh, this, this is called lateral vertebral scalloping. This is a site of origin. Okay, yes. uh, you mentioned a very good point no uh, widening of neural foramina, no intraspinal uh, extension, but there is a smooth scalloping of the lateral border of the uh, vertebrae, suggesting long standing paraspinal uh, process. So this lesion usually arising from this side. It's posterior mediastinal mass, most likely neurogenic uh, tumor. Uh, but uh, what about the dynasty? Any differential diagnosis? Sorry, I didn't hear your question. I'm sorry? I didn't hear your question, please. Uh, OK, OK. Posterior mediastinal mass, likely neurogenic tumor. This is the correct uh, diagnosis, OK? Long okay. standing because of lateral vertebral uh, scalloping. And as you mentioned, no interspinal uh, extension, uh, no widening of the uh, foramina. Uh, it's uh, solid uh, soft tissue, uh, although uh, appearing uh, slightly hypodense, but it has a solid uh, components. Okay, it's a good uh, good start here, boss. You convey the finding to uh, the referring uh, physician and and uh, also uh, send it uh, for uh, a specific MDT. Mm -hmm. uh, here, here uh, as you mentioned, uh, a large mediastinal uh, lesion, I can see the left cardiac border through. It means posterior. This is the most important uh, point uh, here. A neurogenic tumor. It's a neurogenic tumor. Cervical thoracic uh, sign. I will, I will uh, come in uh, this point in just a couple of seconds. Uh, okay, uh, boss, the next case. Uh, yes, this case. Comment. Right. Okay, <laughs> so um, I'm presented with frontal radiograph of the chest in the skeletally mature patient. So I can see that there is a, there is a large, uh, there's a well defined lesion in the, it is projected in the long apex. That's in the left lung apex, I'm extending to the left um, upper lung zone. So it has a well-defined lateral border, which extends uh, superior to the clavicles, and it, which is well-defined uh, superior to the clavicles, suggesting a negative uh, cervical thoracic Excellent. sign. Excellent. So um, it also merges medially with the um, mediastinum. So, and um, it suggests a, a, a posterior mediastinal mass. Um, there is no displacement of the trachea to the contralateral side. So I do not appreciate any lucencies or calcifications within this mass. Then the, the rest of the mediastinum, as well as the, the heart appears normal in size and contour. So the lungs also do not show any, uh, any pathology. Um, I'm checking the bones and they appear normal, no pleural efficiency. So I'm um, thinking of a neurogenic tumor as well um, as my um, differentials, uh, like a schwannoma, a neurofibroma. For uh, neuroplastoma, then the neuroplastoma in a relatively younger age group, what else? Ganglion neuroma. Uh, so it can also be a a um, a, 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 media, a bronco no um if a anosophageal duplication cyst. Excellent, excellent, yeah, boss. Okay, 
Okay, uh, so I will compare with previous images and uh, um, inform referring physician and, and request contrast and has CT of the chest for further evaluation. Okay, uh, CT scan of the same uh, patient. I will get you long uh, mediastinal window. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm presented with the uh, mediastinal window CT of the same patient, and um, I can see the same lesion in the paravertebral area. Um, it is of low, lower density than the muscles, and uh, it compresses the adjacent left lung. It's also medially, medially it's also about the esophagus at some point. So I'll look at um, no, okay, there is no extension with the, uh, to the neural foramen. And um, please, can we scroll in the, the, same, the same points, the same points. Uh, no uh, widening of neural foramina, no interspinal uh, extension, uh, no irregularity or erosions of underlying uh, ribs, uh, no uh, lateral vertebral uh, scalloping. It's of water uh, density. density. I would confirm uh, this on the uh, pre contrast study or even in this uh, study by measuring the Hounds field uh, unit. What if water density? Okay, so I would think of uh, du uh, sufficient duplication cyst. So the differential diagnosis of a posterior mediastinal uh, mass, maybe neurogenic tumor, maybe uh, subgeal duplication uh, cyst, uh, maybe uh, aneurysm of uh, one of uh, the aortic uh, arch branches as well. Uh, okay, uh, why this is a posterior mediastinal? Because its superior end above the clavicle is well-defined. Unlike uh, here, I will give you the second one with uh, okay, yes, this one. Okay, my friends, compare both uh, lesions. This lesion, superior end above the clavicle is fading out. This is called positive cervical thoracic sign. It means anterior mediastinum. But this lesion, superior margin, will define above the clavicle. It means negative cervical thoracic sign. It means posterior mediastinal origin. Okay, so differential uh, diagnosis in this case anterior mediastinal uh, masses. Here, posterior mediastinal masses. Okay, uh, very good, Yapos. Uh, the second, uh, the next candidate, I think, Dr. Ola. I am a doctor. Okay, Yapos. Let's uh, proceed the next uh, piece. Okay. Okay, I'm presented with the frontal chest radiograph of a skeletal oh, uh, um, Okay, uh, there is, uh, I think, radio opacity at lateral aspects of both lungs, likely due to uh, the windowing uh, technical factors. Um, other than that, there is a widening of the superior mediastinum on the left side with um, a well-defined lateral border and uh, L, uh, the medial border is L-defined merging with the mediastinum indicating medi uh, mediastinal origin of the mass. Okay. Um, the uh, lesion is uh, obscuring the aortic knuckle. Uh, also, it is uh, superior very border uh, above the clavicle is well defined. Very good. So very I would want to do it uh, better. Uh, so this is a posterior mediastinal mass. Uh, a, a differential diagnosis would include neurogenic tumors. I uh, would include um, uh, extramedullary medullary hematopoiesis and also uh, uh, esophageal duplication sets. Good. Um, I would check. dilatation also, maybe in the differential. Yes, uh, and uh, dilatation. Regarding uh, extramedullary hematopoiesis, uh, when you describe the remaining part of the film, normal pony texture, no rib expansion. This is a good yes. point to be uh, added uh, as added. well. Good, good, okay. good. Uh, I will, uh, okay, in summary, this is a finding of posterior mediastinal mass. I will convey the finding and arrange course, okay? Another yes. uh, case, Yavos. 
Okay, uh, this is a frontal chest radiogram. Um, I can see the bone well, but I, I assume it is an adult. Um, uh, there is a retrocardia, left retrocardiac opacity, uh, which is uh, saluting the uh, descending thoracic aorta. Uh, I think it is a widened left paraspinal stripe. I'm checking yes. for the right left, side, but uh, I can't. Left any... only? I'm checking the right side, but I think I need to undo it. Yeah, okay. I can see it now. Okay, so I'm checking for the vertebrae. There is a uh, the reps, I'm sorry. There is a widening of the reps and both mm -hmm. clavicles. So my first differential would include uh, uh, extramedullary hematopoiesis. Other possible differential would be descending thoracic aneurysm, since it is obscuring the uh, and uh, the aortic contour. Uh, also, neurogenic tumors would be still a possibility. I would like to convey my finding to the treating team. Arrange for contrast enhanced CT scan of the patient. Very good. Very good. Uh, so you uh, mentioned uh, a posterior uh, mediastinal or a paraspinal lesion. This is another differential. Paraspinal lesions carry a certain differential, like extramedullary hematopoiesis. I will comment on the rib expansion, clavicle expansion. If there is any complementary uh, X-ray, so the examiner should use this radiograph. Okay. Uh... There is increased skeletal, this is ab frontal abdominal radiograph of a skeletally mature patient. There is increased sclerosis of the uh, lumbar and lower thoracic spine. Okay. Uh, there is also uh, uh, opacification of the or a mass like opacity at uh, the upper abdomen, pushing Oops. the uh, bowel inferiorly in the sitting of. Uh, paraspinal lesion and increased uh, medullary uh, sclerosis, I'd be thinking about hepatosplenomegaly. Excellent. And, uh, and liver shadow, so... tissue shadow, splenic subtissue shadow are significantly enlarged. Uh, very good. I'm not sure about uh, this. Not sure if this is surgical clips or no. If this is surgical clips, Surgical clips, uh, it would be due to cholecystectomy, which is common to have gallstones in uh, hemolytic Very. anemia. So in summary? So in summary, we have paris, uh, thoracic paraspinal masses. In addition to hepatosplenomegaly, increased bony sclerosis. It, this is in keeping with uh, a hematological disorder causing uh, uh, extramedullary hematopoiesis. Um, Likely, uh, maybe a case of uh, thalassemia Mild. with a finding and uh, recommend referral to hematology uh, clinic. I think oh. this is a, a CT of the same uh, patient. Do you want to uh, scroll, scroll or? Okay. You want to ask for control? Are you? Yes. Take it. Okay, this <laughs> is contrast enhanced CT scan of the chest. Uh... This shows uh, lobulated uh, right and left paraspinal uh, lesion, soft tissue lesions. Um, extending along the, uh, the inferior aspect of the thoracic spine in addition to uh, splenomegaly. Okay, now uh, the abdomen, just a minute, just a minute. Okay. Okay, proceed. Okay. Uh, the, uh, this is contrast enhanced uh, CT of the abdomen. This confirms the finding of splenomegaly. Uh, the gallbladder is present, but there is go uh, gallstones uh, evidenced by the fish internal fissuring. Okay. Uh, what about the liver density? Uh, the liver density is increased, but I would uh, compare it with the pre-scan. Uh, yes. yes. uh, so it's already pre -scan. It's uh, just now, it's, it's already increased in the uh, the contrast uh, enhanced, yeah. The contrast uh, stop, okay. Uh, okay. It goes with the same uh, differential diagnosis. Back again to our uh, case, uh, there is a good uh, sign here. I'm sorry, <clears throat> I'm sorry, <clears throat> okay. Uh, paraspinal uh, uh, mass or soft tissue, uh, if continuous with the abdomen, we can call it. 
thoraco abdominal uh, sign. If continue and I, especially if I cannot see the inferior end, if I cannot see the inferior end, usually it's of abdominal origin. Okay. If I see the uh, inferior uh, end, usually it's uh, of uh, thoracic origin. If I can see uh, the inferior uh, end or the inferior end of this lesion is diverging, most likely of abdominal uh, origin. Okay, what is the differential diagnosis? Extramedullary hematopoiesis and Dr. <clears throat> Aula, differential diagnosis. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, extramedullary hematopoiesis, descending thoracic aortic aneurysm. Good. I'd be thinking about also uh, multiple schwannomas or neurofibromas. Neurofibromas, good. Um, other possibilities. Uh, Infectious collection, if it's continuous yeah. with the abdomen, okay, or hematoma if it's post uh, uh, traumatic. Very good, Trump. very good, very good, okay. Uh, I, uh, you answered one case or two cases? Two cases. Two cases, okay. Now to okay. the, uh, very good, the next uh, group of uh, candidates, Dr. Ismail, Dr. Ahmed, and I don't know this name. Anyone of this group uh, present? Yes, Ms. Ahmed here. Uh, Dr. Ahmed, okay. Anyone yes. uh, else? One candidate only of this group? Okay, the next group. Anyone of this uh, group? Yes, okay. I'm there. Dr. Rupa. Dr. Rupa, okay. And? I'm also present candidate nine. Okay. So we have uh, two from this group and one from the other group. Okay. We start with uh, Dr. Uh, Ahmed, uh, then the remaining. Okay. Dr. Ahmed, uh, what do you see here? So I'm presented with front radiograph of the chest, skeletal tube patient. Um, I'm going to through my checklist in the review areas. I'm looking at the lung abysses. Then um, have a look at the hilar regions. I can see an abdominal. So I'm going paraspinal regions, and retrocardiac. Going through the infradiaphragmatic regions, I can see any normal retinium or in abnormality. I'm going through the ribs and the bones. Yes, uh, concentrate uh, on the hidden areas. What are the hidden areas or the review areas? Uh, the hidden areas. Uh, the retrocardiac and the paraspinal regions, one of the most common hidden areas. Yes, uh, concentrate yeah. in this area. Okay, so there is increased density at uh, the over the spine. Yes, yes. I, I will uh, make a zoom. Yeah, yeah, it's clear now. So I can see that there is increased density over the lower part of the thoracic spine. Good. Is um, cannot be differentiated discriminated from the descending aorta. So uh, okay, to... there is a special uh, line here. Yeah. Remember its name? Uh, posterior junctional line. Uh, other line? Oh, as you go. Yes. Yeah. As you go, as you go line. Yeah, yeah. as you go, yeah. So yeah. this line has a bulge and the prominence, which may yeah. suggest so... one of the related structures is dilated or enlarged. Like what? Um, so it could be related to as it was been related as it was been, for example, yeah. as in uh, heterotaxy or heterotaxy syndrome, yeah, or subcranial lymph nodes, uh, fluid yeah. dynasty, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, um, duplication cyst in yeah, the bronchial, so, yeah. So the real duplication uh, cyst may cause uh, contour abnormality of this uh, line. As I, as I, as I, as I, I know it's a little bit difficult, so yeah. uh, forget forget this. I'll give you uh, another case. Okay. So this is a frontal radiograph of the chest. It's got an immature patient. He's young. Um, I can see that there is a large retrocardiac obesity towards the left side, left hemothorax. As I can see the heart clearly, so it is not anterior mediastinal. And also there is hilum overlay sign as I can appreciate somehow the hilar vessels. So this most likely posterior mediastinal lesion. 
what about uh, the magic if rule? This is relatively what? relatively a young a young uh, patient, and yes. the lateral border is e declined. Yes. Okay, it's a tricky case again. Lateral okay. border is ill-defined, and the bronchi is seen through. Yes, so it is pulmonary. Yes, pulmonary is air bronchogram with yes. defined uh, border. It's pulmonary rather than yeah. In a young age group, if the patient is complaining of fever and cough, constitutional yes. symptoms, inflammatory markers, this may represent pneumonia. Yes, uh, just, the, uh, yeah. and, just, yes. Uh, just the pneumonia. Okay. okay, not yes. all uh, retrocardiac masses will be with stereomediastinal. Okay, yes, the stereomediastinal okay. masses usually will define lateral yes. port, and you will not see uh, the air program uh, inside. So, this is a tricky case, it's just retrocardiac uh, lesion of pulmonary uh, origin. Uh, okay. okay, 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 okay. If yes. this, if we see a retrocardiac. I will give. I will compare with uh, with this. Uh, okay, if you see a, a retrocardiac, a retrocardiac uh, will define the opacity. Will define the lateral border is will defined. Okay, no overlying air bronchogram. This is most likely mediastinal. But if you see a retrocardiac opacity with ill defined lateral border. And you would see air program inside. This is most likely pulmonary in origin. What about uh, this one? The hiatus? Yes, yes. Uh, I don't want the diagnosis. Okay? Uh, you want, yeah, full description. <laughs> yes. so I, I, I thought, yeah, okay. How to reach the diagnosis. <laughs> okay, okay. So full comment, yeah, okay. Yes. Um, so this is frontal radiograph of the chest. In a skeletally mature patient, um, so I can see that there is a retrocardiac obesity coming from the abdomen because I cannot appreciate its inner margins. So, I, and its lateral borders are well defined. Good, yes. well defined. It's unlikely to be pulmonary. Yes. Okay. The, there is no different differential density, however, because it is centralized. Uh, retrocardiac, I would be thinking in the first instance about hiatus hernia. However, the other possibilities like paraspinal abscess could, uh, and uh, hematoma or uh, aortic uh, aneurysm couldn't be excluded. In my routine practice, I would correlate with the patient symptoms. If the patient has constitutional symptoms, I would be thinking of paraspinal abscess. On the other hand, if he is presented with acute chest pain, I would be thinking of acute aortic syndrome in the form of dissection or aneurysm. Or in the or if the patient has any previous radiograph or studies, I would also have a look at it, especially if he has a previous CT, it will be obvious on it. Excellent, yours. Uh, my friends, uh, image and uh, voice uh, clear or not? I can hear you well. Any clear. problem? Any? Alhamdulillah. Okay. <laughs> because my internet is not uh, well today. <laughs> okay. Let's revise uh, these mediastinal uh, lesions and signs of a posterior mediastinal uh, mass. Posterior mediastinal uh, mass will be continuous, continuous with a posterior mediastinal structure like aortic arch. Uh, or I can see the anterior mediastinal lesion like uh, a border. Of, I can see the cardiac border uh, through uh, this lesion, okay? Or Okay. Uh, or uh, uh, again, again, uh, continuous with a posterior mediastinal structure like aortic arch. Uh, or I can see the cardiac border through the mass, uh, or I can see a well-defined lateral border through the heart, retrocardiac. It's also posterior mediastinal. Or I can see this mass uh, adjacent to the line, uh, to the paraspinal line, continuous with paraspinal line. And the most important, this is a radiographic sign, is the upper border of this mass is seen well-defined superior to the clavicle. It's called negative cervical thoracic sign. If the inferior border of the 
paraspinal mass seen diverging, diverging, it means of abdominal origin. This is called uh, thoracoabdominal uh, sign. Think of uh, TB uh, abscess, uh, paraspinal collection, and also uh, 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 extramedullary hematocrisis. So uh, posterior mediastinal uh, lesions, neurogenic uh, tumors will be on top of uh, the list, especially if it contains uh, soft tissue inside. Sometimes uh, neurogenic tumors have a cystic component, like cystic schwannoma. Okay, if it's a collection, think of abscess, uh, especially uh, TB. If you see a collection, mention, mention, and the vertebral destruction, mention the management of TB, isolation of the patient, screening of the relative, uh, drainage of the uh, of this abscess, acid pass, acidic correlation, and and and. It's very important to mention this type of management and recommend. Uh, in my routine practice, I would check lung window. Looking for what? Looking for any uh, three embodied uh, nodules, which means activity. Looking for any cavitary lesions, which means uh, activity. This patient highly infectious or contagious. This is an emergency. You have to uh, show it uh, its importance to the examiner. Uh, it's called safety case. Uh, if it if it is well defined uh, collection, it's not collection. It's cyst. Actually, it may be uh, a duplication uh, cyst. Remember, uh, achalasia one of uh, the differential diagnosis air fluid uh, level. If this lesion have a vascular arterial supply from the water holes, lung sequestration, yes may present uh, as well hiatus hernia and extramedullary hematopoiesis uh, as well. Okay, so this is a list of uh, anterior and posterior mediastinal uh, lesions. Uh, remember the mimickers of uh, this lesion may be of pulmonary origin. Okay, it is not uh, adjacent to the uh, paraspinal line, but it is well defined, so it is a mess. Uh, here it's adjacent to the uh, spine, but it is and ill-defined, so it's consolidation or uh, patch. Uh, okay, uh, I will uh, stop this video to be part one.